Welcome back everybody, it's the Sespi Scouter. And in today's video, we're gonna review the methods that I use to train the patrol leaders in my troops. Now this training doesn't take exactly 15 minutes, but it's used to illustrate a point that we don't need to take all day to train our leaders and to give them the tools that they need in order to better serve the youth in their troop. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I'll be sharing the link as to where you can find the 15 minute patrol leader training. Now the 15 minute patrol leader training boils down to a series of questions and answers that hopefully gets the scouts thinking about what it is that they're really there to do as leaders, as green bars in our patrols. Now the great thing about this training is that it's an ongoing process. It's not a one and done type training. We can ask these questions and get the same types of answers from our patrol leaders over and over again so that way it really sinks in and it really settles. Now the first time that I do this with our patrol leaders, I don't give them a copy of the handout with the questions and the answers. I ask them the questions and I want to see what they come up with and that way when I share with them what the answers are, we see how we can really simplify it and boil it down to just very easy to grasp concepts. Now when the training is done, I give each of them a copy so they can keep it in their binder or their patrol leader handbook. So the first question is, what is your goal? And the answer is to lead, train, and inspire our scouts to become first class. How do scouts become first class? By doing things that scouts do. What do scouts do? Scouts put the scout oath and scout law into practice. Scouts go camping, scouts go backpacking, hiking, canoeing, and participate in all manner of outdoor adventures. Scouts learn skills and apply them. Scouts explore hobbies and careers. Scouts serve their community. Scouts organize and plan their own activities. Who makes it possible for scouts to do all these things? Scouts plan, organize, and execute their own meetings and their own ideas by utilizing the patrol method. How do scouts know about these meetings and events? We communicate with them the details that they need to know and the preparations that they need to make. How are scouts prepared for these events? We train our scouts with the skills that they need to know and the tools that they need to plan and execute the events that they have scheduled for themselves. Now this next step is where scouts really kind of get tripped up and we can really lay it out and let them know how this works. What are the three steps to making things happen? The three steps are planning, preparation, and execution. Now I asked the scouts, if we had to break this up into 100%, what percent is each? Surprisingly for planning, that only takes up about 5% of what we expect the scouts to do. Who's responsible for doing what? What do they need to do? When are we gonna do it and where are we gonna do it? The basic who, what, when, where, and why. Now bulk of it, 80% is preparation, getting things ready to execute the plan. And finally, 15% is execution, actually doing the thing that we said we're going to do. Now the example that I like to use with this to really let it sink into the scout's mind is I say, let's think about our next troop meeting and we're gonna do knot time. Boom, 5% planning done. Next troop meeting, knot time, simple. The part that comes after that, the preparation stage is where we really have to put the work in. Who's gonna be teaching the class? Do they know which knots that they're gonna teach? Do they have the rope that they need? It is, is it already cut into the right size so that every scout has a piece of rope to practice tying the knots? Do we need to talk to the quartermaster to make sure that we have those supplies in our closet? Do we need to talk to the adult quartermaster or the scoutmaster or the committee chair to purchase new ropes to make sure that everybody has a piece? Those are the details that go into the preparation that we really want the scouts to flex through and to really put the mental capacity in and really think about what it is that they're going to do. And finally, the last 15%, make it happen. You show up to the meeting. Hey scouts, welcome to the meeting. Tonight we're gonna to be tying knots, presented by this patrol or by this scout. Here's the supplies we need, let's tie some knots. Now all the information I share today is available at scoutmastercg.com. Scoutmastercg.com has been an excellent resource for me and my growth as a scoutmaster. All right, Scouters, I hope you got some benefit from the information I shared with you today. If you have any questions on the 15-minute patrol leader training or 
scoutmastercg.com website or anything, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you see when I upload a new video. Don't forget to put the outing in scouting, keep it simple, make it fun, and we'll see you guys the next time. This is the Sespi Scouter, saying goodnight.